So as you guys can see, I finally got my power walls installed, also my solar panels from Tesla. The whole process only took a day. However, everything else takes a long time. The permitting process, the approval process, getting the net metering installed from the power company. I don't have my permission to operate yet, but I wanted to show you guys everything that's going on right now, just because I need something to do. <laughs> day four of quarantine for me. Um, so let's just start with the show and tell process. So like I said, here are both the power walls installed. I was told to leave the switch on the on position because they do need to stay charged from the grid if they get too low while we wait. Here is the inverter. This kind of basically grabs the power from the solar panels and converts it into power that my house and the grid can use. And this is all, all this is like new installation, everything they did here. Um, and then here is our main panel that was already installed at the house. This is new right here, they installed this. I think this um, communicates with some stuff outside they installed, um, the gateway and stuff like that. These three boxes are new that Tesla installed. Um, this thing basically is just a cutoff switch that the utility company requires that they install. When I have permission to operate, I can just flick this on. If you open it up, not really much to see. I don't really know much about electrical work to really know what's going on. And then here is basically the generation box. So here is um, the batteries and the solar. They have their own separate breakers. I'm told to kind of always just leave this on because if you want to turn this off quickly, you just do it right there. This is kind of just like a step down. And then here is the energy gateway. So this is what kind of communicates to the Tesla app when I get the ability to use that. These little plastic things up here, I've done some research. These are like antennas on how it communicates. There's a little reset button in there if I ever need to reset it. And I'm also told if I wanna operate completely free from the grid, I just flick this to off and I can just operate on solar and power walls only. And then here is my current meter. I've had this all along. I'm waiting for the power company to install a net meter or a bi-directional meter. So I basically, know when I'm selling power to the grid. Right now, if I turned my solar on and electricity went to the grid, I may actually be billed for it because this isn't designed to know which way the power's flowing. And like I said, I got 36 panels installed. It, that is the Tesla large system. I'm gonna show you all those. And I have a lot of footage from construction as well, but kinda wanna show you live. I'm in the back of a truck. So on this side of the house, here's 12 of the panels. The only, the only thing that concerns me about these is that there are a lot of trees in the way. So depending on where the sun is and depending on the time of the year, these are gonna get some shade. So I'm gonna monitor that. And if need be, I may cut down a few of the trees. And here is another set of panels. So these are gonna kind of get some of the sun later in the day and that's two four six eight right there and if they don't look very sunny guys keep in mind like there's some clouds out right now so they would be getting more sun typically and to wrap up the panels in the back of the house there are three more right there so what is that eight so this little section has um 11 total so we had 12 on the side, 11 back here, and then we have some in the front. So here's the front of the house. These panels will actually get a lot of the morning sun because the sun sets or rises over there. So these will definitely collect a lot of sun in the morning, so I love that. And I do really love the look of the panels from the road, like they're very sleek looking. And I'm not sure why there's so much freaking traffic right now. This road it typically is never this busy. School is out, everyone should be quarantined. I'm not sure why the only time I film outside, there's traffic everywhere. I wanna see if I can get a good thumbnail like with my car 
in the picture. Since we lazy, you gotta utilize that double tap to park. Perfect. It just like drives into the road. So guys, that was my quick tour of my solar and power all installation. I will put two more videos here and here. If I have more solar videos up, I'll put them there. If not, it'll just be another video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.